This video introduces the new Hydrosite accessory for the Master Sizer 3000 and looks at how it can be used as an aid to method development for laser diffraction. The Hydrosite is an imaging accessory placed in line between the dispersion unit and the measurement cell. So we'll start with the Master Sizer measurement by running the alignment and background. We can then move to the Hydrosite software and add some sample details. And in this demo, we're going to look at a dispersion of a toner sample. We can now add the sample and what the hydrocyte allows you to do is to immediately see the particles in your sample as they're circulating around the master sizer. And once we've added enough sample, we can start the measurement in the master sizer software. This will give us the particle size distribution measured by laser diffraction. It will also plot the size parameters in a trend view to allow us to follow the dispersion process. We can then start the analysis in the hydrocyte software. In this case, we won't use the anomaly detection We'll cover that feature elsewhere. So what the Hydrocyte software shows you is a live video of your sample as it circulates around the master sizer. Those images are then analyzed to produce a particle size distribution and basic shape information is provided in the form of an elongation distribution. The Hydrocyte software also provides two metrics for following changes that might be happening to your sample. Firstly, the dispersion index, which is a measure of the disorder or the busyness of a frame. We also use the relative standard deviation of the dispersion index to help us understand what might be happening to a sample. We can capture a result, which grabs an image of the sample and images of the charts, and capturing a result also resets the charts so we can look at how the size distribution changes under different dispersion conditions. So what we'll do next is change the dispersion conditions. We'll edit the sample details in the master sizer to show that we're going to apply ultrasound, and next we'll turn on the ultrasound and start measuring the sample again. Back in the Hydrocyte software, we can take an image to mark when the ultrasound was turned on. This way we can link any changes in the dispersion index to changes in the dispersion conditions. And the captured image can be renamed to show that this is when we turned the ultrasound on. This will be useful when we go back and review the dispersion index trend chart. We can already see that the dispersion index is starting to increase as agglomerates are dispersed into primary particles. An increasing dispersion index suggests dispersion as it indicates that the frame is getting busier as agglomerates are dispersed into primary particles. We can capture a result at any time and here it's been renamed to reflect the duration of ultrasound that's been applied to the sample. Again, this will be useful when we come back to review the dispersion index trend. In the master sizer software, the trend plot shows us that the particle size is decreasing with ultrasound, indicating the sample is dispersing. However, the sample's not fully dispersed, so we'll leave the ultrasound on and start another set of measurements on the master sizer. In that second set of measurements, we can see that the particle size is still decreasing under ultrasound. When we look at the hydrocyte software, we can see the dispersion index is still increasing, but only gradually, so that indicates that we're probably near to full dispersion of the sample. The RSD of the dispersion index has decreased, this indicates that there's less variation from frame to frame, which suggests that the dispersion is stabilizing. And if we look again at the master size of software, the trend graph shows that the size is now stable and the size distribution is now a single narrow mode, both of which suggest that the sample is fully dispersed. So we can now turn off the ultrasound, but we'll also make another set of measurements after ultrasound to make sure that the sample dispersion is stable and that the particles don't re-agglomerate. We'll also mark the point where we turned off the ultrasound by capturing an image in the Hydrocyte software. If we review the dispersion trend in the Master Sizer software, we can see that there's a gradual decrease in particle size before ultrasound, a more rapid decrease in particle size during ultrasound, which then stabilizes when all the agglomerates have been dispersed. And the stability of the results after ultrasound indicate that the sample is fully dispersed. If we review the Hydrocyte software, then the dispersion is confirmed by the increase in the dispersion index and the decrease in the relative standard deviation. We can overlay multiple results from different points in the dispersion process to look at the change in the particle size distribution with ultrasound. Here we can see the decrease in particle size with ultrasound, 
which can also be displayed as an undersized curve. Finally, if we select all of the events and review the dispersion trend, this shows how the dispersion index increased and the relative standard deviation decreased as the sample dispersed. This video has shown how the Hydrocyte accessory for the Master Sizer 3000 enables you to visualize your sample and how it can be used as an aid to method development for laser diffraction.